Welcome to our channel. Before we start, don't forget to like, subscribe, and activate the notification bell. Everything starts with the fundamental building blocks of matter, elements. These are pure substances such as oxygen, carbon, or iron that cannot be broken down into anything simpler. Compounds, on the other hand, are combinations of two or more elements, like water, which joins hydrogen and oxygen. What's fascinating is that even the most complex objects we use daily are made up of these basic building blocks. For example, carbon, found in pencil graphite and materials like plastic, nitrogen, part of the air we breathe and used in fertilizers to help plants grow, sulfur, found in soaps and used in manufacturing industrial chemicals like sulfuric acid. The periodic table is our map to understanding all these elements. Imagine that everything you touch and see, from your phone to a piece of paper, is made up of unique combinations of these basic blocks. Let's start with an object you likely have close by, your smartphone. Its metallic frame uses aluminum, which is lightweight and durable. The glass screen contains silicon dioxide, providing transparency and hardness. The battery relies on lithium, an essential metal for efficiently storing energy. Another everyday example is your toothbrush. The handle is made of polypropylene, a durable and flexible plastic. The bristles, which clean your teeth, are made of nylon, a synthetic polymer. And let's not forget fluoride, the compound in toothpaste that strengthens enamel and prevents cavities. What about your gaming console? Its casing is made of plastic polymers, while the internal circuits contain metals like copper and gold, prized for their ability to conduct electricity efficiently. If you analyze every object around you, you'll see that chemistry is in everything you use. From the aluminum in a soda can to the polymers in your sneakers, each item has its unique chemical composition that gives it special properties. Chemistry not only explains what things are made of, but also how they interact and why they have specific properties. For example, when you burn wood, a chemical reaction called combustion occurs, releasing energy as light and heat. Rust that forms on metal exposed to air results from an oxidation reaction, where iron reacts with oxygen and moisture. Have you ever seen baking soda react with vinegar? That's an acid-base reaction that produces carbon dioxide bubbles. These chemical reactions don't just happen in a lab, they are constantly shaping the world around us. Chemistry is also present in essential aspects of our lives, such as food. Carbohydrates provide energy, proteins build muscles, and fats protect our organs. What about cleaning products? Soap, for instance, has molecules that interact with water and grease, removing dirt from our skin and clothes. Even within your body, chemistry works tirelessly. Digestion, where food breaks down into nutrients and respiration, where oxygen combines with glucose to produce energy, are essential chemical reactions for life. Chemistry doesn't just explain the present, it also defines our future. Thanks to it, we can create lighter and stronger materials, develop life-saving medicines, and even design technologies to combat climate change, like more efficient solar panels. Furthermore, chemistry plays a critical role in solving global problems, such as resource scarcity or environmental pollution, offering sustainable and innovative solutions. Chemistry is all around us, and its impact on our lives is immense. So why not learn more about it? discover how the world works, and become part of future solutions. Chemistry is waiting for you. So next time you use your smartphone, enjoy a delicious meal, or even take a deep breath, remember that behind it all is chemistry, tirelessly working to shape our world. Here's a challenge for you. Write in the comments where you see chemistry in your daily life. Share some example with us. And before you leave, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell.